All right, wrestling fans, welcome back. I absolutely want to thank you guys again once more for a great, um, great turnout here for us. I'm going to move the camp or the lighting just a little bit there so you don't have to see my shadow so much. All right, so definitely thank you again for your guys' commentary, your feedback. It is absolutely um, perfect for me. I love hearing all about your guys' um, your ideas, your thoughts. I absolutely want to make sure I can help you guys out as much as you can. First and foremost, I want to thank the... Uh, uh, helper there, a commenter there down below in the previous video, um, kind of reminded me that actually goes to triple A TV grade. I actually didn't remember that. And, uh, so that's great to know. So I, um, just want to make sure you guys know that I actually bumped up. Um, I believe it was, if I look here, kid cowboy. That's what it was. Kid cowboy was bumped up to a triple A because he won, uh, or he, um, you know, got the opportunity to fight in the title fight for the next event. Um, but I'd only moved him up to double A because I thought that that's what was the highest grade you could get. Um, but I was wrong. And so, um, I changed that to triple A. So I wanted to let you guys know to make sure you guys have that. Also, um, I think, um, I'm going to also try to see if I can set up a thing so I can show you guys, um, kind of like on the screen, like a little title thing. Uh, maybe not in this video, but in the, one of the future videos, um, at the end, kind of a breakdown of the rankings. So at the end of the match, you guys can see see kind of the uh, breakdown there. So without further ado, we're actually going to be going into the first title fight for the female wrestlers. Yes, this is very exciting, guys. Two great uh, contestants here uh, between Jennifer Crucci Lane and Vamitria. Now, if you guys remember, uh, Jennifer Lane actually fought in two matches. So first one, she fought against Laura Motzinger. Um, it was a no decision, but she did lose in the beginning, but it was just a no decision because Laura Motzinger was cheating alongside Officer Carl Barnes. So um, they avoided that one, and then we went back as a grudge match between them, and Jennifer Lane came back and won, so definitely showing Laura Motzinger what's up. So now she's earned the fight against Vomitria, who has been on a rampage. Absolutely fantastic run there. Um, so I want to see how uh, both of these guys can do, and to see if one of these guys will actually hold the title belt for the female wrestlers here. Uh, definitely something fantastic I want to see here. And then afterwards, I want to have an interview session with Allison Rose with the commissioner and see if anything will come from that. And then a surprise match here at the end for the finale. So two matches and one interview. Again, I really like the interviews. I think they really expand the story um, just so you guys can see how the story kind of goes. Um, so as of course, always, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get to the match. Okay, so of course, as always, we're gonna roll a dice here to see the pre-match routine here. Five, that's gonna be R, so highlight reel R. Let's check it out. Okay, so 66, that's gonna to go to highlight reel S. I already know that kind of. The doubles are usually a really good thing there. So 31 here. 31 says, Heel plots with commissioner if Hill wins match face TV grade is reduced by three letter grades. Ooh, yes, Vegas Vance Yancey has had his fair share of hand uh, meddlings inside the uh, uh, the match wrestling. I should I guess you could say the turnbuckles there. Um, he is definitely um, going to be up to it when he actually has to go through the grudge match coming up next. So it looks like Vomitria, of course, is absolutely always 100% always a heel and always going to be an underdog unless somehow something happens. Uh, she is disgusting. That's a feature that actually didn't exist and doesn't exist. Uh, but with disgusting, you just kind of basically take it as she is disgusting. She's the worst. <laughs> so if she wins, um, Jennifer Lane is going to be bumped down three letter grades instead of one. So great thing to note. I'm not going to actually add like three and then minus one off of it. That doesn't make sense to me because then it'd be four letter grades and that just seems ridiculous. So we'll remind that of course for us and we're gonna see the bell ring here as we of course get everyone's face to the mat. Okay, one last cut, cool. Let's see it here. All right, first shot here is gonna be for the title belt here. Heavy, so it looks like Vimitria is heavy. 275 out of Fort Smith, Arkansas. So that's gonna be one point as opponent captured in sweaty face lock. Ooh, that's kind of gross. Yikes, Vimitria always takes out the chills. Ooh, she's definitely a Halloween fall classic. Okay, helped. So Vimitria is um, 
I think, it, uh, let's see here, is she held by Captain Black? No, she's not. So she's actually a valet for Captain Black, but not the other way, not the uh, reverse. So there is no help for either of these um, people. So good to note, as we, of course, can see here. TV move, well, they're both the same here, um, but Jennifer Lynn's going to win that one with a B rating. That's going to be a chin lock for one point. So answering right back with that sweaty uh, chin lock from Jennifer Lane. Agile, that's going to be Jennifer Lane uh, if she was on a square, but she is not, so that's not going to be a point. Okay, TV move again. Well, they're both the same. Favorite wrestler is Jennifer Lane, so let's give her the B here, which is, of course, she's going to change just in case when Vomitria was trying to get out of it and kind of twist it a little bit, she actually moved it over to a full Nelson. Ouch. So that's going to give her three points. One, two, and three. So off to a good start here. Jennifer Lane, crew chief, as you, of course, can hear the bell ring. Specialty will both have specialty here, uh, but Vimitri is one that's going to get it, and her specialty is disgusting. She incapacitates opponent with disgusting purple spew. It's almost like a Mortal Kombat thing. I'm not sure if that's what Keith had in mind when he created Vimitria. So it's going to be six points as she's vomiting all over, like almost an exorcist style. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, the call is coming from inside the house. Oh, shooby dooby doo. Okay, powerful. Here we go. So powerful square is Jennifer Lane and then also Vomitrio. Now Vomitria is on uh, squares. So she does get it there. As in court, of course, the mat is disgustingly gross with all the purple spew. And she gets Jennifer Lane into a, a powerful chin, a surfboard chin lock. So giving uh, Jennifer Lane a little taste of her medicine uh, with a chin lock right back to her signature move. So it's the purple slime chin lock of course so we're going to double that move there to one more so that's going to add one more point there because it was a one point move before and we're going to keep on going grudge grade well it looks like Vomitria definitely has the grudge grade here so that's going to be a three point gold repertoire move and so I'm going to say this is a tangled web we weave move yes it's a pretty exciting one gets on top of the turnbuckle and she's massive so she only gets onto the second style there and she swings her legs over and almost does like a, a Rey Mysterio acrobatic light um, strong uh, whip to the ground. One, two, and three. Pin. So let's look at the pin. So 11 to 26. Let's see if Jennifer Lane, this is going to be the first pin today. All right, 62. This could be a quick match here, guys, as Vomitria uh, puts her down here. All right, that's 42. Two. All right, guys, let's see here how it works. Oh, 55. That was an easy match from, from Mitri Vomitria. She is taking out all of the women wrestlers here. We might need to actually handicap this. Of course, as you guys can see, Vimitria has won the title belt and it will continue forward here, guys. Fantastic moves by Vimitria. Now, uh, as of course, we want to make sure we check the uh, post-match highlights here. As Vermitria, of course, is walking around the match uh, belt there with her uh, title belt now, uh, firmly in her hand, grabbing there. Uh, definitely a disgusting sight to see here. And uh, we're going to raise her actual grade here. Uh, TV grade to an A. So even though <laughs> I say everyone hates her, uh, her TV grade is actually quite stunning. <laughs> and that's going to push down... Um, Jennifer Lanes to a C. So not too bad, just average, really. So let's check it out. So we're gonna, we roll a four. That's going to bring us to the highlight roll X. Well, let's roll some dice. 53. So 53 says, um, hot box ally of defeated wrestler offers disarming comments. Reduce ally's grudge grade by one point. So hotbox ally of defeated wrestler. So it looks like the ally is natural woman. We're going to actually decrease the, uh, was that 53? Uh, dec reduce ally's grudge grade by one point. So it's going to be natural or natural woman is going to actually go down from a two to a one. So that's good to note there. And of course, always, I actually kind of messed up here. So I said I was going to go down three points here. We're actually going to reduce this down um, three points completely, not just one. So three points. So it was a B. So we're going to go C. So let's see here. So uh, down three. So C, D, F. So it's going to go to an F. So no matter what we do, uh, she will, Jennifer Lane, since she lost, the commissioner has set up a precedent here uh, for her and definitely set the precedent that um, 
Jennifer Lane has been almost kicked out of the wrestling uh, federation here for her di uh, disappointing uh, showing here. She's already had one bad showing with the dis uh, disqualification, or I guess you'd say not disqualification, but uh, 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 first match she had versus Laura Motzinger. So definitely she is on the tight ropes with the commissioner here. And we're actually going to turn down to Allison Rose with the commissioner here in an interview session. So let's go right there to us, guys, uh, as Vomitria walks back to the back backstage with her title belt. All right, guys, welcome back to the backstage area here. Vegas Vance Yancey has blessed us with his presence. No, he is not Santa Claus, guys. This is, of course, the fallback smash. So absolutely not that case here. But what will be happening is Allison Rose wants to talk to Vegas Vance Yancey. Of course, he was called out against Tom Drayden her ally of course what a tangled web they weave right so let's see what happens here in this interview this is a special one here guys let's see what happens as we roll the dice so 63 63 says here under the highlight reel let's see here all right so 63 so 63s i'm not sure here so on dice rolls of 61 and 63 if guest and host are the same persona heels or faces use results 61s through 66s if guest uh, and hosts are different personas use six uh, 61d and 66d well, let's see here so um allison rose is not a face um I, I don't know how it's perfectly set up i'm, I'm trying to think here because um i mean maybe she is a face but she is underdog i always put her as underdog because the i mean who what interviewer would be the favored wrestler in the interview it's all you'd always want to treat your your guest with of course a favored ability right so that's my my idea right so um vegas fancy nc is absolutely not a face he the, no one, no crowd likes the commissioner. So Vegas Fancy Yancy is definitely a heel. Allison Rose is a face. And so I'm going to say that they are opposites, okay? The reason why, of course, is she is the interviewer, and people don't mind her too much. She's she's not too bad. You know, she is oversensitive with being uh, having a girl's name. She's kind of wants to be part of the part of the, the the dudes. So let's see what happens here. So we're going to actually go to um, if they're different. So let's see here. Are the same if guests are different, so let's go to the D version. So 63D says, host refuses to let guests speak. Ooh, ooh, of course she would. Why wouldn't she? Tom Drayton's her ally, right? Uh, successfully hog spotlight. Host TV grade increased one letter grade. Guest reduced one TV grade and increased grudge grade by dice amount of points. So let's check that out here, guys. As Vegas Fancy Yancy gets prepared, he adds one dice point as he is getting worked up here, guys, as he goes to a five grudge grade. And Allison Rose really showing off here as the host absolutely doing her job of course great little play there i really enjoyed that because why wouldn't allison rose she her best friend is tom drayton so absolutely something to be uh, of course uh, uh mentioned so thanks guys coming into the interview let's go down to the final match here definitely gonna be a fun one let's check it out what is this, folks? Oh my goodness, yes, this was an absolute flawless special event here, guys, as of course I did set up two interviews in the same match, and guess who will be fighting? Yes, it is Tom Drayton versus the commissioner of the pit boss, Vegas fans, Yancey. Oh my goodness, guys, yes, I told you guys it could be the next event, or should have been the next event, but I actually figured it out. I'm not going to do it next event. I'm going to do it now. Because of that last interview you guys just saw, absolutely we're going to have Alice and Rose push the Vegas fans Yancey all the way into a higher garage grade and beat up on Tom Drayton. Now remember what's on the line of course here folks. Tom Drayton, he called out the commissioner and said, if I win, I get to have the ability to go against the um, the the title belt so instead of kid cowboy he'll have to wait his turn uh to fight lou cool um but if tom drayton should lose he is gone out kaputs later dude he is gone the commissioner will have to find another person to come and set in on the media group because of course tom drayton is the uh, the other interviewer so great to note here guys fantastic fight up ahead it's an object match and the object match why wouldn't it be a suitcase full of either walking papers or of course uh paper i guess you'd say that is signed by the uh, by the commissioner that allows him 
Tom Drayton to fight Lou Cool for the title belt. Fantastic matchup ahead here, guys. Let's do our first little uh, order of business pre-match routine. Oh, yes, the commissioner is a little bit excited here. Of course, this is an opportunity for him to put his foot down and show the people what they want, of course. So let's go to highlight reel O, as we always do. 42. 42 says, Hot Box Ally of Favored. So it's going to be uh, Vince McMahon, the boss. Uh, 42, yep. Uh, Hot Box Ally of Favored wrestler ticked off by TV announcer comments. Why are they always so mad at me? I swear they hate me. Increase grudge grade by one point. Well, Vince was never man of mincing words here. So he is a little bit frustrated with how I've been handling everything. So he pushes himself up one grudge grade. And that's always good to note on my handy dandy little uh, uh, Google spreadsheet here. So I have my one point there for him. And that saves there for him. And let's get down to the message here as both wrestlers have finished their entrance music and of course pre-match routines let's find out whether or not Tom Drayton will be fighting against Lou Cool or is Vegas Vance Yancey gonna give Tom Drayton his walking papers okay so let's shuffle up these cards here they're still there from the last fight there always want to do that real quick here guys I definitely hope you guys are enjoying this. Of course, smash that like button here. The fall back smash is, of course, something kind of new I did here. I kind of made it up on the fly. I, um, I <laughs> used up all the pre-printed out um, uh, play.com match. Uh, oh, these. Um, like the papers that you do to create the pre, uh, prevent or the pre, ah, the pre-event uh information so i kind of was writing it down on a piece of paper as we go and i'm going to transcribe it to a uh, or just kind of push it over to an actual uh paper as i when i print it out i wanted to see how this would work out and it is kind of nice it is a little bit more frustrating though because of course you have to write it all down here afterwards but nonetheless guys the shuffling is all done here i am ready to go i hope you are too sit back relax and let's watch as the bell rings here guys to fight vegas vance yancey versus tom drayton okay here we go agile well it looks like of course tom drayton toxic is absolutely agile he has splash from top rope onto opponent's midsection wow first first order of business is to get one point there to him as he climbs a turnbuckle and slams down onto vegas vance yancey as he's talking around uh trying to promote his uh his product he has here on tv tv move um let's see here well obviously vegas vance yancey is going to win that as tom drayton is hated really uh b so that's going to be when he gets back up pulls an arm bar gets one point there as a slow moving wrestling match here starts to unfurl heavy well looks like neither of them are heavy they're both both just fine here even though uh the pit boss uh commissioner is actually uh He's pretty close to heavy, actually. Wild card. All right, we haven't seen that today, so that's pretty cool. Let's check it out here. So the wild card is always a fun one here. Now, I think we are doing just a normal ring match. I don't think there's anything different, right? Yeah, it's not a hardcore match, I don't think. Yeah, just use... Oh, wait, actually, you know what? I'm looking here. Use cage match rules and charts. Okay, yeah, so let's look at that. So um, remember, the object of the uh, briefcase um, can be used once the first wrestler gets to that square there. So that's always a good choice there, okay? All right, so let's roll some dice here. See what happens. 44. Okay, 44. Uh, cage match, 44. Uh, is the wrestler a cheat? He is not. He's mean. Uh, I know Tom Drayton is a cheat, but uh, 44. Uh, he is not. Opponent launches himself, uh, launches himself from top of cage. Well, I guess, I mean, it's not, not really a cage, but hmm. I'm not really sure how I like that because that kind of ruins a little bit of the... Uh, I can change it, okay? So he he actually launches himself from the top of the turnstile, okay? Turn, you know what? On top of the ladder. There you go. Because sometimes when there's like, like a, there's actually a cage or a ladder, so he puts himself the ladder up, of course, and he launches himself from the top of the ladder. Scores fist first direct hit. Opponent scores um, uh, scores f uh, something amount of points. Uh, direct hit. So it looks like Tom Drayton launches himself off a ladder on top of to on top of Vegas Vance Yancey here. Sets that up for two points, one and two. A direct hit with the fist. Fantastic. See how that kind of works out, guys. It's not a cage, so let's put a ladder up there uh, in the middle of the uh, 
ring there, of course, because they have to get up the, the object there. So quick. All right, so quick is going to be Tom Drayton as a uh, wrestler slips behind opponent and delivers multiple kidney punches as he gets up there. So one point there. So it looks like the speed and agility of Tom Drayton is catching up to the powerful Vegas Vance Yancey. Favorite. Well, the favorite's going to be uh, Vegas Vance Van. Yeah, we're going to say the commissioner. I don't want to say any more of that Vegas fancy NC. It's a little too many. I'm repetitive. It's a little much. So uh, the commissioner here, uh, he's favored. So he's going to get it here. Wrestler uses specialty move. Well, of course, he grasps Tom Drayton as he's giving him the kidney punches here. Powerful and mean and strong. Gives him the one-arm bandit arm breaker move. Wow. We one, two. That's what you give, of course, when you're from Vegas. Don't ever cheat. Object. Well, object here. Looks like neither of them have an object just yet, and neither of them are at the square at all. So if they're on a square, I'd absolutely have no problem giving them the object uh, uh, ability. So grudge. Well, grudge is going to be over to the commissioner here. So that's going to be a gold move. So I'm going to say <clears throat> the slot machine cross uh, the clothesline. So the slot machine gold clothesline for a gold repertoire move of three, one, two, and three. And that will be, folks, um, so as, of course, object placed in center of ring, first wrestler to reach square space gets to use it. So um, it looks like he, of course, has gotten to the area there and as he uses the clothesline he climbs up the ladder there and grabs the briefcase and he's going to actually jump down from the top of the ladder there and land on Tom Drayton for how many points? Three, one, two, three. Wow, wee, that was a great turn of event there as the commissioner shows why he is the boss. TV move. That's going to be the commissioner here. This could be the end here, folks, as TV Move gives him the elbow splash against Tom Drayton. Okay, let's see here as Tom Drayton's starting to reel fear, and he might be getting his walking papers faster than he knows. Favorite, that's going to be, of course... The commissioner, he is, of course, the favored wrestler, uh, if there's not actually a favorite wrestler here. Gold repertoire move, so that's going to be the slot machine clothesline. One, two, three moves there, and as an F, he needs to roll an 11 here, folks. An 11. Let that sink in. That's not going to happen. <laughs> All right, so let's roll here to see if it happens here. That's a 16, close enough, but not yet there. 66 <laughs> couldn't be any further from it looks like tom drayton's career might be over here guys that's no good oh. 26 wow okay that is gonna be it folks ding 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 one two and three that is it vegas vance yancey has dealt tom drayton as he opens up the briefcase his walking papers so long see you later tom drayton that's the first wrestler here folks in the federation to be kicked out banned sayonara ciao ate logo yeah right adios it's gone tom drayton is see you later so, as, of course, Tom Drayton exits there, it's a great opportunity to, of course, see <clears throat> what the post-match highlights are going to be here after he exits the ring. Whew, I don't know how you guys feel about that here. So, it looks like right here, six. Who won the match? Well, fa uh, the face won the match because he is the, um, no, he's a heel. So, if heel won the match. So, he won. So, let's go to highlight reel U. Let's check that out here real quick. Okay, so let's see here. Highlight real X. So U. There it is. Okay, so highlight real U. 21. All right, 21 says heel continues to kick face after matches over. Injure face. Ho oh, ho. So the pit boss just nails him, just starts kicking him and kicking him. The crowd is just not knowing what's going to happen here. It is disgusting. It's a highlight reel of just massacre. Oh, it's just one of those scenes where, um, you know, you almost see Jay, uh, was it Lawless, uh, you know, the TV announcer going, oh my gosh, what is he doing? You know, that kind of thing, right? It's absolutely pathetic. It's horrible, of course. The commissioner wants to set the tone for each and every person here uh, that sees, of course, the commissioner is not to be handled with uh, incorrectly there. And then the lights go out here, folks. What is happening here, of course? Then out of nowhere, the spotlight goes down into, of course, the front of the uh, uh, entrance there. And out of nowhere, 
Two men arrive, the Rock Brothers, Rick and Rob Rock from Fort Dodge, Iowa. Yes, they're identical twins, and you'll see them play out the same card for either wrestler. So, they get on the mic, and they challenge. They give a grudge match challenge, not to the commissioner, but to Vince McMahon. They want to send a message. They want to send a message to Vegas fans, Yancey, because they're not a part of the Federation. They want to come in as the outsiders. They want to, of course, avenge what happened to Tom Drayton. And folks, settle in, of course, for the next time. We're going to see Vince McMahon versus the Rock Brothers. We're only going to see him, of course, against one, and that'll be Rick. So Rick Rock is going to be the one that will be trying to see if he can pull a power cord against Vince McMahon for the, all the, I guess you would say, the horrible ways he's treated his employees, Vegas Vance Yancey. Well, let's see what's going to happen next here, guys. Tune in next time here, folks. I absolutely appreciate all that you guys do. And now we want to welcome Rick and Rob Rock, the Rock Brothers here, trying to see if they can show off to the outside or from the outside to the Corpo Corpo Federation uh, against Vince McMahon. The grudge has been set. And by chance, can we see a new tag team championship? Maybe. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. I hope you guys can leave a comment below there. Smash that like button. And always, of course, send some feedback. If you guys liked it, absolutely say so. I'd love to hear it from you guys. Again, I'll see you next time here, guys, in the bleachers.